Hello guys, hi, good evening. Just we'll just wait for for a while for others to join. Wait for two minutes and then we will join today's session. I think it will. It is actually a bigger session, but I will try to cover as much thing as many things possible in the time duration. Yeah, I think a lot of people have already joined in. Let's start with today, today's session. I hope I'm loud and clearly visible to you, to everyone. Okay. guys welcome you to the second session which we are conducting today i i just got to know that yesterday a few of you guys joined the session related with digital marketing that was totally different session uh, which you joined and uh, if you are interns then you are strictly required to join the session which we are providing do not join in other sessions which we are not explicitly asking you it you might get confused in the content and the delivery Okay, the sessions which are designed for others might you might get confused. Okay, so let's start with today's session. Welcome to the corporate readiness essentials. Uh, I don't think I need more introduction. So because we have been together with last uh, three sessions, this is the third third session which uh, we are conducting today. So my name is Anu, and uh, let's move on to the part of today's content. Uh, I think there is some problem with my PPT. No problem. Okay, let's ignore the image. So what we are conducting today? Today, uh, we are dis discussing very important aspect which will help you in throughout your career. Uh, first thing is, uh, we are going to have a short reca recap of previous session in one or two minutes. I'll give you a brief about that detailed internship program, a lot of students still have confusion regarding to that. Then we will have a short discussion discussion about the task which you guys submitted uh, recently. Then the third part is LinkedIn profile building. I'll help you with build profile, how you can build your LinkedIn profile, then a resume building, then how to crack an interview. Then we will have a winner announcement of the uh, first task which you all submitted and then after that your second task that will i'll take you through so let's have go through a recap of the previous session i hope my screen is visible to you see uh, you guys have started the, uh, you guys are already aware that we have multiple domains with us, web development, programming languages, Android testing, sales and marketing, accounting, finance and human resources. So all these domains we have, uh, we have a lot of requirement regarding to this domain. So uh, the next session onward after this session, next session will be domain specific, right? Uh, this is the last session which we are going to conduct on a general level. But uh, if you guys feel any requirement related with general thing, if the responses are there, we will also conduct a short session for the specific uh, students who require this session in more detail. Uh, the mode of internship virtual, you very well know. Internship duration, you know, two to three months. And we are extending it to six months based on few students requirement uh, who are available for larger duration. Then the time duration, uh, you are currently aware that we only give the task which are which require you 30 to 1 hour of your daily bandwidth, not more than that. Uh, 
about the program structure uh, the two general management sessions of 30 minutes each which we are conducting this is the second session uh, two domain specific uh, trainings and tasks that will be given to you uh, interview call will be there for stipend uh, don't worry if you even fail this interview call it doesn't uh, change anything related with your internship your internship will be continue with uh, continuing with us hope a lot of students have got their uh, confirmation email regarding the internship uh then there are project works and weekly sessions so once you shift into jump into your domain task there will be project work and we uh, project works which will begin with you a benefit so what are the benefits you will getting through this internship program first uh, is the internship certificate which we are providing to you then there is job recommendation letter which uh, will be given you based on your task completion and your performance in the task uh then uh i will personally provide you written recommendation to top 10 performing interns i and along with uh, the senior member of phd technologies so you can get a valid recommendation letter uh, recommendation on linkedin also pre placement offer to top performing students you will be definitely having a good opportunity and giving uh, pre placement offers to the students uh then ha uh, yeah right so there is a condition so see uh, we are having a lot of client based and i have already mentioned that there are most of the requirement related with testing and development are there but uh, uh, the major uh, thing is testing related thing uh, about the why there are larger uh, audiences required so even if you are uh, falling into account finance or human resource or some other field also you might have to you will have to uh, submit two mandatory task to get your internship certificate they these tasks will hardly take you 30 to 1 hour of your time not more than that uh, but yeah these tasks will be mandatory for uh, getting an internship certificate and job recommendation certificate then there is side stipend and its condition so weekly uh, one to two tasks uh, you will have to attend and sessions you will have to do so and then uh, 75% of the attendance in all the sessions uh you will have to submit your attendance it doesn't matter if you are submit you are watching the video late and then you are uh, uh submitting the attendance form then also it is okay so we are okay with that but a task submission is one thing which is mandatory if you are missing on some task submission deadline then you will be miss on to the opportunity which is associated with it for example yesterday a, a deadline was given to you all that there is uh five uh, you have to submit uh the task before four so those who have submitted it after four they we are considering their task in recommendation letter and internship certificate but they won't have the opportunity to they will miss on to the opportunity of getting the uh competition benefit the prize which uh, we was associated with that okay uh yeah so this was all in the detail uh for more information or if you want anything else you can refer to the uh, email at internship at phntechnology.com let's uh, move on to the second part okay so the task discussion right so we will be having the task discussion let me tell you and tell you about the task in detail a lot of student had submitted a really beautiful uh analysis related with this task and everything i am i was amused to watch the task and all the submission the way the students submitted the way they analyzed the way they uh, put their input and way they presented their and uh, the, all the categorize the way so see uh, this was a expense table right uh the, so the question was create a detailed monthly expense table as shown in the following sample table based on your monthly expenses right you would have to solve few questions associated with that so this table you have to design on your own based on your own input few students have just uh, used this table that is also fine no problem with that uh, what is the percentage of expense in month most of the uh, three these three were uh, very easy to answer a lot of students were confused in the fourth section so i'll just emphasize on that so how will you save 10% of your monthly income basically what i was expecting is so see uh, in, in let's consider this table uh, for example you could have said that the uh, amount of uh, money can be saved from the entertainment section where you will re reduce your 
मूवी और यू डोंट गो एंड वॉच अ मूवी और यू कैन एक्सटर्नल फास्ट फूड यू कैन मैं कट डाउन यूर फास्ट फूड एक्सपेंसिस देर यू कैन सेव सर्टन मनी सो या दीज आर दूड यू कुड हैव मैं और अदर थिंग्स बेस्ड ऑन यूर ओन एक्सपेंसिस where you can reduce this uh, expenses and you would just had to so total expenses was 5630 you just have to save 500 rupees so that that can be easily saved from entertainment and food yeah, that is what was expected and the report submission and link and everything was there so many many congratulations on the effort part and a lot of things you guys did was really good i'm really happy with the way you all uh, submitted the assignment in time presented the assignment it was really beautiful to watch a lot of students perform really excellent and it was let me be honest with you it was very difficult to shortlist the student who have who won the prize man it was very difficult so let's let's move on to the second part uh, linkedin profile building so yeah uh so the main thing is why linkedin profile is required so uh, a few of the members who have uh, performed really well in this have participated they can also participate in this session by replying in chat so why linkedin profile is required a lot of things are there right linkedin profile gives you an exposure because linkedin is the a uh, platform which is used for professional career growth so that is why it is used secondly you can apply for jobs you can uh, review any profile of any professional person what he is doing what she is doing and uh, get connected with uh, connect with connected with them a lot of talent acquisition persons talent acquisition this might be a new word to you but see there is hr domain and there is a talent acquisition domain so basically talent acquisition is a part of dom- part in part of hr where people do the recruitment part so recruiters are there we will go on a linkedin profile so i'll explain you in more detail uh, how linkedin profile can help you linkedin profile can help you in getting a job uh, getting uh, connecting with your uh, colleagues connecting with your colleagues you can you can also it will in longer run you will also it will help also help you finding a, a, a life partner for you because uh, in case of arranged marriages a lot of people go on hunt and check on linkedin profile so see these are little, little aspect but they make a very huge impact a professional background a professional history of a person can be showcased on linkedin so beautifully we'll go uh, we'll take my example only and i'll showcase my profile to you so you'll you can get a better idea about it how you can build a strong profile that i'll tell you because uh, you will have to see a profile for that let me just mm, yeah so i hope you know linkedin a lot of you so this is my profile i hope my screen is clearly visible to you so see this is how my profile is my profile picture then my cover picture then my current designation then my a brief summary about it and then about about me in in a few words then experience i will not emphasize on experience but i will not also talk i will avoid ta- uh, talking about my professional experience it will take a lot of time but i will showcase uh, you how i have put it in you can visit my profile on linkedin and get in more detail so whichever companies i have worked in i have put it in detail what i have worked in which domain i have worked in and uh, what expertise and what value i have added in those organizations so yeah this is about it uh one thing which i wanted to emphasize with you is this so see this is uh, my college so i am a graduate from government college of engineering karad so these are the activities which i have completed in my college time college duration activities sports personality development training and placement skills achievements and uh, before uh, joining to the college what i have done in schools so few things which i have mentioned uh, related with miss my schooling and all 
then you can see there are license and certification which i have did uh, which you can also uh, mention there are show credentials so anyone if he is doubting on the credential they can click on this show credential and check if it is there valid or not endorsement so these are my skills a lot of people have already endorsed in me that saying that i am already excelling or performing well in the skills this you can start doing now so building a linkedin profile takes a lot of time it cannot be done in a day it will take you a lot of time it had taken me 8 years of time to build in my linkedin profile what it is as of today so yeah so why linkedin is used is uh, more on the thing uh, whenever you are looking for a job you have to uh, click on a job you have to apply on a job so this is all what you can get right uh, where you can go click on a job and then you can click on apply so whenever you are clicking on apply uh, uh, apply or easy in apply you can just click on apply there is a uh, back end uh, the recruiter and the talent acquisition person who is shortlisting your resume visits your profile they don't download your profile they just go and look into what this profile what this person has done so whenever he is getting and looking at a exciting uh, profile where there are detail everything is mentioned about his professional background or whatever he has done in his school or related with internship i didn't do an internship at that time but yeah you can showcase it it will be very attractive for him or her to shortlist you so based on your profile he will directly select you for the inter uh, interview round so these things will help you out uh, linkedin will help you out a lot if you are maintaining a proper profile so that is why it is very critical and very important it doesn't uh, matter which profile uh, which uh, domain you are from you are from technical or any domain a lot of uh, companies are shifting on a linkedin because it is very convenient and easy to source candidate from so yeah, that is all on the linkedin part uh, if we have few questions i'll okay thank you so yeah you can uh, any time visit my linkedin profile you can see how it is built up and you can uh, you can replicate it uh, to in building in your own profile very well so let's uh, move to the next part so yeah uh, what is the difference between there is some problem with my ppt nevertheless so yeah uh, what is the difference between cv and resume a lot of thing a student might be confused like what does a cv means and where to use a cv where to use a resume you have heard this both of the terminology but doesn't know what they mean actually so basically cv means curriculum vitae it is used for whenever you are applying on a uh for a educational purpose for example uh, you are currently graduating but you don't know what uh, there are uh, mba schools uh, mba colleges and a lot of universities such as if you are going for post graduation or phd they will ask for your curriculum details like what have you done in your entire curriculum so in situations like that you have to present your curriculum vitae so curriculum vitae takes uh, it can be more than one page it can be of 10 pages 9 pages 8 pages 7 based on your activities you have done how many things you have to mention about yourself in that curriculum vitae so that uh, at that situation in those situation you have to use curriculum vitae you have to submit your cv and what is resume then so whenever you have to apply for a job at that time you have to use your resume right so resume is a totally used for your jobs and everything and uh, i have seen a lot of people uh, submitting this their resume with three page long four page long five page long it is not required let me be honest with you if you are putting up a cv with two page and three page long four page long there are high chances of getting rejected in the shortlisting process if you want to present yourself for a job opportunity just present a one page cv and how a one page cv is uh, presented or how you can create a one page cv i'll show show it to you uh, right away so yeah uh, what are the things you need to mention in your resume 
uh, we'll go and take these uh, things in detail I'll, uh, and how you can build your effective resume. Uh, so let's go and I'll show you a resume of mine. Okay, so this is the first round. So guys, I was, I didn't got an opportunity to find my first resume uh, at the college time, but I found the second one, which I, which, when I got few experience. So I'll, I'll just uh, show you how you can present a resume. The format of the resume can be anything. This is one of the format which I've used. I'll show you the second format also, uh, but see, this is the first format. Uh, So let's hide it. Huh. So see, whenever you are putting up your resume, your name should be clearly mentioned. Your contact details should be clearly mentioned. So where the recruiter can contact you, your email ID, your contact number. I have presented my college logo here because uh, it, it is a good sign. If you are from a good college, it doesn't matter which college you are from. Just present your college logo, but it, it is very critical. It's very important. You can use your college logo to put it, put it up on your resume. We'll skip this work experience part. And uh, I'll go you and showcase few things which you can mention in your resume. See, guys, you are a college student. You are working. Uh, uh, you are uh, a pursuing student. So I want you to don't lose on the opportunity. The students from fourth year, the students from third year, second year, first year, it is a good opportunity for you to participate in the activities which you can do. So, see, consider my, my experience, like right? uh, the positions of responsibility. So, all these things are related with my college academics. None of the things which is mentioned in this resume is related with uh, uh, professional experience. And let me be honest with you, I was not a sincere student at uh, when I was in college. I was, you can consider one of the student, just imagine the student who gets the lowest mark in your college and you can consider me as the student. I am that student who was the most mischievous one not doing a lot of sincere activity. So if I am able to do it, you can also do it. You can also create your resume like that. Imagine a recruiter or a, some placement you are going for and you say that you are a fresher and you are giving him the CV like this what I have presented you over the screen you will definitely get an interview call I have seen a lot of students who are presenting their resume but it is not at all good just few things are mentioned that I have done internship in PHN technology and a lot of things are missed on uh, I, we already cost a lot of time we have limited time mm. So yeah, I will tell you the few tricks, a uh, few things which uh, will help you in building up your resume. So see, for example, core team member in Avishka. This was a technical festival. Every college has a technical festival. You can participate in that technical festival and mention very clearly what you have done. What you have done. Uh, for like I have mentioned, let a team of ten uh, in an event activity hold. You know, organize ten plus technical events, panel discussion, and academic presentation. So what this line means, this line just means that uh, there is like a specific thing, like 10 events I have covered, 10 technical events, panel discussion. So whenever you are building up your resume, you have to be very specific and very precise what you are mentioning it. So see, for example, uh, let's see this hmm. editor and writer of college yearly magazine, uh, which was the edition, what was what I did. Right. 75 year magazine, written three plus English article consecutively for three years, raising awareness of student politics and social issues. So this is what I have written. So what the interviewer will see that these, this candidate have mentioned very systematically about what he has done. So most of the thing, what we think that interviewer doesn't get any information to ask us, but if you present them in a very proper manner, like, uh, what, mm, what you have done in your college, they will definitely ask you questions and they will be interested in your profile. A uh, few students who are from technical background, they can mention things such as uh, they have uh, they have uh, they have done their project bachelor thesis. See their project and internship. I have mentioned project bachelor thesis, uh, design and Android app, EPAD, facilitating learning of underprivileged students. 
so these point uh, these point give them a very good information regarding what thesis and what project you have done in your second year third year and fourth year and the more detail you will give to the interviewer the more interested he will get, get in uh, in your profile and uh, the the more likely you getting selected in the interview a lot of uh, every recruiter every interviewer knows that you are a fresher you don't know more, much about the industry but they are interested to know what you have done in your college so if you are able to showcase the things you have done in your college in your school then it will be really helpful for the interviewer and really helpful for you to get in get selected these are few things i have delayed, uh, done in uh, tpo and then there are uh, yeah then there are extra curricular activities so uh, basketball i have played basketball cricket handball tennis so whichever the position we got in our college that i have mentioned clearly so see these things you can also mention it you have the time to build up your profile you can participate in all these event you can showcase that you have you are active student you are you have led leadership skills in you this all this point which i have mentioned are there so see uh, this you may building what you guys do is you guys spend hardly half hour or one hour and you create your resume that is not how the resumes are built to let me be honest with you this resume building me this resume take it took me four days of time it actually took four days i am not joking and four days means i was constantly focusing constantly altering the word and this resume is not i have built yesterday or tomorrow this resume was built by me 8 years back when there was no chat gpt when there was no gram uh, grammarly or any tool you can check it on i you might find a lot of grammatical mistake also because at the time when i built this there was nothing so this is how you can build and showcase your resume this will help you in getting shortlisted in any organization you want this is the way you do it uh let me show you so a resume more about the professional life so you can see uh one third of the portion uh one third of the portion position of responsibility here and here at the end it is totally related with my college and academics all of you are from college as uh, college students so you can see you can build up your one page resume a larger and greater than this i have properly mentioned my academic qualifications here and everything so you should get a screenshot or you can uh you can check it out on youtube whenever you want and you can build in that is why i present it for a longer duration and let me present you my second cv so see uh the second cv when i got a professional experience the extra curricular activities and the college section is totally lost it is totally absent it is not even mentioned in there you can see only the extra curricular activities which i have written at the bottom i have kept this a lot of students might have a question that why you have put an extra curricular activity you can remove it like the way you have removed the rest of the section see once you get an one year or two year of experience the college things which you did doesn't matter so you can really uh, remove it why i put an extra curricular because the position i was applying for was related with leadership such as position like team lead and everything and these team these skill skill set required leadership position so uh, i led a team of so i was the captain of my our uh, basketball team so that uh, that is why i have mentioned this then the awards which uh, mm, i hope this is visible now yeah. ha huh. so that is why i have mentioned this uh, at the at the second uh, resume also at the second time when i created my resume so this is how you uh, create your resume this is one of the uh, Uh, template. There are a lot of templates on Google and all. You can search it on. It doesn't mean you don't you don't have experience uh, work work experience professional experience. It doesn't mean that you can create a CV like that. You can definitely create a CV like this. You have to emphasize on your career what you have done. 
and what you what things you have done that that will definitely help you in building a resume like this okay how to build in a, a resume i have one more part left so let's move on to that uh, one last thing which i wanted to cover is how to crack an interview so guys see uh, there are uh, requirements always there are always requirement in the industry a lot of companies are looking for a lot of candidates for their role so whenever a role is created they put a job description so whenever you are reading a job description read it very carefully read it three or four times and read what is the what is the interviewer what is the uh, hr looking for what kind of candidate the hr is looking for so based on the job description your cv should reflect that you are a perfect fit in that job description so the skill set which are asked like team leading leading leader, leadership skill accuracy and all that it should be showcased in your resume so i personally had three to four kind of resume for different kind of industry which i apply for i have just presented two sample cvs to you but actually i have uh, 10 cvs every time i apply in a company it it will be depending upon the company and what is their requirement what is the job description is and i will mention those line which are related which are relevant for the interviewer so if you are doing like that if you are putting efforts then you will definitely get a interview call so at the time of interview honesty and sincerity is the top most thing you have to be honest you cannot lie to an interview because he is already having a lot of experience so imagine an interviewer so once an interviewer is always at your position so he knows what you are lying and what you are uh saying honestly so be honest logical reasoning any time you are answering a question be logical you don't have to uh, say unnecessary thing random thing if you just don't know the answer just say it's i don't know or you can ask them a question uh, where which can help you out in uh, in better answering that question so that is how you you should answer it any time you get a logical question you, uh, question you should answer it logically it should make us make sense be specific the fourth point is specific specific is uh, you don't have to say like if a question is asked you it doesn't mean you answer it answer the question for 2 minutes or 3 minutes or 4 minutes or 5 minutes if you are being specific with the question whatever is asked for example uh, do you know c++ you can just reply but yes i know c++ that's it let the interviewer ask you the follow up question based on the follow up questions you can answer it you don't have to justify yourself just be specific if you know the answer five fifth is punctuality you know the timing of the interviewer just be present 5 minute before present your same uh, greetings and all the things i won't uh, focus on it much but yeah punctuality is also important sixth is listen and repeat uh, why i am say putting this point important because see whenever a question is asked to you if you are not able to listen to that question properly you are unaware about the question or something doubtful is there with the question you must listen to the interviewer's question very properly you can repeat the question to your interviewer like uh, if might some might have asked like uh, what is tell me something about your family is a very basic question so um, if this question is asked you can answer that sir you need to know about my family right so he can say yes yes then you can continue take your time take a moment think how you will answer the question like first you will start with the family members then you will start uh, then you will tell about your fa- father's his profession then uh, profession of your mother then about your sibling what their education is so if you structure the answer properly in your head then you can start delivering the answer to the interviewer it will show that you are a person who has a thinking ability who is not random if the question is asked don't throw the answer right away take a moment think for the answer and then deliver it that will make sure that will impress the interviewer that you are a very structured person and a responsible one who thinks that is what every interviewer in, is looking for in the candidate when when you are whenever you are a fresher okay so moving on to the last part uh, you already exhausted so there are few announcement to make uh, about the first task which was completed so yes uh, here are the uh, winners congratulations to all 
those who have been the winner of, winner of the uh, thousand rupees uh, gift for Amazon gift voucher, Shraddha, Ayush, Rakesh, Rupesh, Pratham. Congratulations, guys! These guys are there uh, with us uh, in the way in the live Zoom call, which I'm taking. Uh, congratulations to you all. Hope you got. Uh, hope you all got the. Uh, the email regarding to your coupon, Amazon coupon and all. Yeah, you can see. Congratulations, Shraddha Ayush. Hi guys, hi guys. So, hope you got the email right uh, about the coupon. Please reply it in the chat. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you guys. Uh, let's move on to this uh, the task which we have defined for your next uh, next task. So the next task is resume building. That is why I took a session on your resume. I am very interested to look at the resumes you build based on your today's learning. Guys, uh, see your resume can be like a speech competition you have participated in during your schooling. The drama you have participated in, the extracurricular activities, the sports, cultural activities, or if you are being a monitor of your class, all these things can be portrayed in your resume if you are a fresher. So go in detail, think a lot of things you have done. I hope and I know that you have done a lot of things. If you have succeeded or uh, or um, have, think of any kind of trick and tips to learn, you can tell and you are portrayed in your resume that you have taught few things to your uh, your uh, fellow classmates and a lot of things can be portrayed in your resume so take your time for first year second year students who are the part of this internship program i'm expecting you guys you can you can uh, showcase all the things you have done in your uh, uh, since childhood see my eight years work experience uh, can be put in i'm not able to put in one page this was the cv which was just a two year experience and i was able to and i able i was able to use the 90% of the one page uh, resume and imagine you guys are like you can portray a lot of things you you are from starting of first nursery to 12th standard and then the college you can put a lot of thing n number of things in the resume so i am expecting that to happen Presentation skills are secondary, but the content is very uh, important. Uh, focus on the specificness, focus on the specifics. Uh, put uh, numbers. If you are you are telling anything, putting anything related with numbers, like uh, you trained four people or you worked in a group of eight, these numbers will help you getting selected. And these resume will be used for the interview purpose also uh, at the time of your stipend. It is very critical for you to submit your resume. The deadline is 17th April. So submit your resume before 17th April. Uh, it, it, will, it will be okay for me if you are uh, uh, submitting the uh, resume after 17th, but that will be not considered for the interview selection, interview round. But the, that will be considered for the uh, internship certificate and uh, job recommendation letter. Yes, uh, this is about the, uh, the task and uh, last is I'm concluding with the attendance. So uh, you can check the description link, uh, with description of this video for the attendance link or you can scan this QR code for to submit your attendance. So yeah, that is all from my end guys. Uh, very best of luck to all of you. I will just look at the chat for the questions if you have. Uh, over YouTube. Uh, from anyone from participate participant wants to ask me any questions or something uh, you can i'll make you a post so that you can speak up
Hey, just uh, put in it the uh, put in the request to speak it up. If you want, I'll allow you guys to speak up with me. You can have conversation with me. If you have any doubts. Domain specific sessions will start from uh, the next week. So next session will be domain specific. All the communication regarding the domain you will uh, get over your WhatsApp and email. And if there is any kind of questions, and uh, you can uh, just email on internship at that phn dot com, or you can con connect with your respective mentor. They will help you out. Uh, hello. Hello. Am I audible? Hello. Uh, good evening, sir. Ayush, this side. Good evening, Ayush. Good evening, sir. Sir, I would like to know about the work culture of the company, sir. Okay, you want to know the work culture? Yes, sir. The uh, work culture, Ayush, varies from company to company, uh, and again, it is uh, depending upon the. Uh, the nature of work of the company is doing in service sector you will find uh, there are uh, there are people who are working on 10 to 7 the work timing are very specific and fixed but see in any organization you go and be open to it be open to the uh, to working uh, most of the companies see imagine my a friend of mine who is working in geo uh, he is having very fixed uh, work culture like 10 to 7 he has to do his job but since the, the IPL is sponsored by them and uh, Geo Cinema, you know, he's working on that domain. He's work, he's the development developer in that. So he has to work at, till 11 p.m. in the night. So mm -hmm. every organization or any organization you go in, there are the peaks, there are the graphs, uh, there are ups and downs. Sometimes there is a lot of work you have to do. You have to focus on the deadlines. You have to complete the deadlines of the client. Then you have to stretch in, but absolutely. Huh, so that is the only thing you have there. There will be uniform across any company. So uh, imagine few companies I have worked in supply chain domain. It is very critical for you to deliver the uh, deliver a food packet of Zomato in thirty minutes. And in those organizations, there are shift based work where few people work are working at late at twelve pm at the night. Yeah. And then there are payout and there are then finance related team. In finance team. Uh, their works get very critical in in uh, at the at the time of month end when they are checking uh, when they are consolidating the amount they are releasing the salary those days are very hectic for them so in any organization there are uh, there are times when it gets very tricky where you have to uh, put extra effort so that is how it is and there are lean period and high period also it it will be like two days you are chilling out you don't have much work you have two hours or three hours of work on that particular day, but that happens. This is how the work culture is in any, any organization. Okay. That was a great explanation. I must appreciate that. Thanks a lot for the same. Yeah. Any, any other question? Uh, as a fresher, I wanted to know, I could focus for a product based company or a startup. That uh, product or a startup. See, uh, uh, good question. So rather than going answering your question, right. I'll, I'll just change the question a little bit. So what are the product based companies? There's a lot of students uh, might uh, not aware about the product based company. So product based companies are the companies where there is a product. It might be uh, like a dub, a soap is so sold. Johnson and Johnson when there are baby powder and everything they sold. And then there are few product based companies such as Zomato where the company's product is their app. And the second sector is service-based companies, right? Service-based companies are like where a TCS, Infosys, these are service-based companies where they are working for their ex external clients, banks and everything. And there is one more thing about startup and MNCs. In uh, what, what are the differences in all these things, right? So in MNCs, you, uh, you, are, you get work-life balance and everything, but you don't get, an, don't get exposure. So the hierarchy and MNCs are similar. You can compare it with government job. So promotions are delayed. 
growth is delayed your scope is limited you are working on a specific domain you doesn't you don't get to know what is happening in hr what is happening in account what is happening in your next team or the the floor next to you mnc's are like 10 10 floor or or multiple things they are they are working wide internationally so th- those are the differences uh, difference in startup in startup you get to know everyone you get to know the accounts team who is working in hr the ceo will be accessible to you you can look at the ceo what is working what are his working time you can connect with your manager easily you can connect with the other teams or vertical working in other different vertical so it depends upon you what kind of life you want if you want a fast and a challenging life you can go to startups if you want a safe secure and a regular life you can go to mncs it doesn't mean that going to an mnc won't give you that but see a lot of people have moved from mncs to uh, building their own startup so that is a thing which is which i would say a personal call you need to take what things you need to do thanks a lot for explaining this i got all the points which you explained uh, yeah it was the question thanks a lot for explaining thank you okay sir thanks a lot uh, nilay you want to know uh, can i work in two different domains in internship yeah you can if you if you have the time to uh, time to give then you can definitely work on two domains definitely no problem with that so yeah that's all from mine guys if you want you can leave this call uh let me check with the team if i am missing something so you wanted to know about a few interns work let me uh guys uh, i am receiving a request that you want to show uh, you want to have a look at what the what are the top okay let me show you just give me a moment let me download a file I was like, so I was. I'm showing you a presentation, uh, which was submitted by Ayush, who is the participant of this event only. so this was a the presentation and this was a summary which ayush presented task submitted by ayush he categorized his monthly expenses housing everything food personal care medical health entertainment everything in very detail he showcases the total expenses in categorizing what what which is the largest expense so the most of the chunk he is spending in housing sector which can be easily easily understand and analyzed using this graph and this pie chart so this is the graph and the pie chart which is shown so this is how the uh, reports is submitted by him okay i so i hope you don't mind i'm me showing this video to uh, pdf to all no sir not at all it's a pleasure for me i actually hesitated to show all the things to everyone because of the privacy segment but since i wish is okay no problem with that so yeah thank you guys uh, thank you for joining in i hope to see a lot of you submitting a very beautiful resumes of your so we can accommodate many more students in the next session and uh, we'll have an exclusively opportunity to directly interact with me thank you guys thank you for joining in have a good day good luck for your resume preparation in second task thank you thank you so much sir recordings